Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. As requested, um, I'm making a second uh, series on Discord bot coding, um, as Discord.py has been rewritten, uh, re so it basically means that a lot of my tutorials don't actually work anymore. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is showing you how to create a new Discord bot, and this time we're using JavaScript, so Discord.js. Um, so this is the first episode, we'll just get into setting up the bot, and there, yeah, then we'll after that, we'll do the, the other stuff. Okay, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, to get started, we need to head over to nodejs.org, which is this website right here. All you need to do is, uh, this will be in the description, uh, the link here is nodejs.org. Now all we need to do is uh, click download uh, for your operating system. This is the one that I'll download here. Save it wherever you want and wait for the download to finish. Once that's done you can open up this and install Node.js. Once that installation is done we can create a folder of where we want to have our Discord bot. I'm just going to put this on the desktop. We can open up that folder, and in here we're going to uh, just leave it open like this. We're going to press Windows and R at the same time, and then here we're going to type in CMD. Okay, as you can see we've got CMD up here. All we need to uh, type in here is CD space, and then we're going to copy the location here of the folder that we have open. Click on here, select this, right click and click copy. And then we can go back to CMD and right click and it should paste it in. We'll press enter and as you can see we're now in that location. Now all we need to do is do npm init for initiate. Press enter. Note this will only work if we've installed Node.js which we have. Now all we need to do is press enter and if something like this happens, just name it something different like Discord bot. It, uh, you don't want to have spaces in it. Click enter again. You can change the version here by just typing it in. I'll just leave it like that. Same with the description and all this stuff here. Just keep pressing enter until it says, is this okay? Click enter again and that will open up our uh, JSON file here. For editing, I recommend you use Visual Studio Code because you can actually see all the files in the folder. But you can also use Notepad++. Both the, of these will be uh, linked in the description below for download. This is Visual Studio Code here. To download it, just click this download and then follow the installation guide. For Notepad++, just download it here and follow the installation guide as well. Links will be in the description. Now all we need to do is right click open with and then find what you're going to use. If you're using Notepad++, uh, open with Notepad++, but if you're going to use Visual Studio Code, search for Visual Studio Code in your um, uh, taskbar. You should open something like this. We're just going to go File, Open Folder, open up our folder and click Select Folder. As you can see, we've now got our package.json here. For Discord to work, we need to actually install the discord.js uh, um, package. So we're just going to type into cmd again, npm install discord.js dash dash save. So we'll actually save it um, into our file. Make sure we're still in the same cmd under the cd uh, path. Click enter. Wait for this to load, it should start installing. Don't worry about the warns or any color text, that's all fine. Make sure it looks kind of similar. Now we can close out our CMD. Now we should see dependencies, discord.js right there. That's what we want to see. Now we're going to create a new file here. And we're going to name this index.js. That is the name that we have described here under main. Okay, so this is basically where our bot code will go. To get started, we're just going to go const discord 
require discord.js. This is basically saying that we need discord.js for the following commands. Now we're going to do const bot new uh, equals new discord.client. Um, some YouTube tutorials, if you can follow some other ones, they might put client, so just be wary of that, but we're just going to use bot. Now we're going to do const token. You can really name that whatever you like. And then in here, we're just going to put some, a, uh, the string. Then that as well. Just quickly, we need to put this here. I forgot to do that. Now we're going to do bot dot on ready. And then just follow exactly what it shows on screen. This is a bit confusing, but once I explain it, it should be fine. Okay, so basically this is just, uh, well, uh, just setting out some stuff for the bot. And here, when the bot is ready, it will, in the console, which should be in CMD, it will say this bot is now online. Now we're just going to um, add some extra stuff to make sure we log in with our token. So we'll do bot.login, and then we we'll type in token here. We don't need to make that uh, with the string things here, because we've already got that. And that's basically all we need for now. Uh, all we need to do is get our token. But before that, we're just going to make a quick, simple co uh, command. To make a command, do bot dot on message msg equal uh, greater than curly brackets, and then in here we're going to type in if msg dot content equal to ping I'm gonna add another curly brackets there msg dot reply pong so basically if you type in ping uh, to the discord server with the discord bot is active it will reply with pong you can basically do what if you like here this is just a good example okay we've done that and now we just need to get our token Okay, now we just need to head over to the Discord developers portal. Make sure you have um, created a... Uh, make sure you've logged in under your account. Now all we need to do now is click new application. As you can see, I've already created a bot here, but all you need to do is type in its name, add an icon if you want, go to bot, and then you need to click on create bot user. That will look a bit like this. Okay, once we're in here, we're just going to need to copy your token. Copy that, and then generate a token if it uh, doesn't have it there. Okay, once we've created our bot user, um, make sure this is selected as a public bot. Um, we're just going to go to uh, select administrator here, go to OAuth2, click on bot here. For bot permissions, you can choose what you want, but I'm just going to select administrator again. We'll copy that link there. We'll add the plus arrow here and paste it into our, uh, our link here. Once we paste that link in, we can select the server and then click authorize. Do the Google capture if you need to, and there you go. As you can see, we've got our Discord server here and our YouTube test bot is here. We'll just minimize that and go to um, and go to Visual Studio Code. We're going to go. We're going to click on Terminal and click New Terminal, and then in here we're going to write 
node space dot. That should start our uh, program here. As you can see, it says our bot is now online. And if we head over to Discord, you can see it's online. Now we're just going to test out the small command we made. So if we type in ping, bot will reply to it. As you can see, our bot has replied to it here. Now to stop our bot, if we want to change something, we can do control C. Thanks for watching this video, everyone. I hope this video has been helpful. If you need uh, help with anything, uh, join my Discord. Link will be in the description. Uh, also, I'll leave all the bot um, tutorial code on my GitHub. Link in the description as well. Hope this has helped, and I'll see you in the next video.